Central Asian landscape is dominated by deserts, by high mountains and steppes, with oasis cities scattered among them. Travelling has traditionally also been done on horseback, and therefore long, loose ropes are a very important part of Central Asian costumes, as they are easy to travel in, and they also conceal body shape well, conforming to Islamic teachings. Rope designs can actually tell us a lot about the wearer's various identities. Taking our three male ropes as example, the patterns on the Uzbek rope indicates that it is from Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. The red Turkmen rope is usually worn by younger men. And as for the Kazakh rope, its use of fine materials such as velvet and golden embroidery is an indication of wealth and status. Other nations' costume designs also reflect their own distinctiveness. For example, the first one, with elaborate patterns, actually took its design from the Uyghur court's male ruler's dress. It's only with the demise of the court that it was used on female dress. This other dress motifs along the collar are actually influenced by Persian motif designs. The third dress has an arrow motif in the middle, and that is in fact a typical Manchu motif that has been integrated into an Uyghur design. The Uzbek dress makes use of the textile called atlas, which is very particular to the Uzbeks and Uyghurs. The Kazakh dress has abstract motifs representing animal and natural images such as the ram's horns, which manifest traditional nomadic animistic beliefs. The Tajik costume has a very distinctive headgear, whose hanging metallic parts give out a distinctive chiming sound when dancing or walking. You may click into each costume on the website under Exhibits, Costumes, Central Asia to see more photos of each of them and appreciate them in greater detail.